Naruto, 10 anime heroes who would hate Sasuke. Sasuke Uchiha isn't easy to like, as he can come off as self-absorbed, bitter, generally humorless. Many anime heroes would steer clear of him. Naruto introduced one of anime's most famous or infamous rivals of all, Sasuke Uchiha, who has revenge on his mind. He was introduced as the last of the famed Uchiha clan, obsessing over his hatred for his murderous brother Itachi Uchiha. Sasuke made it his mission to avenge his clan, and this fixation drove him to abandon his village and friends. Sasuke's worldview and attitude changed a few more times from there. Especially in light of Itachi's true reason for taking out the Uchiha clan. All the same, Sasuke has many negative personality traits, viewpoints, or tendencies that would alienate him from many other anime heroes. And no one can blame them for pushing Sasuke away. 10. Edward Elric wants to promote healing over revenge Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood. Edward Elric grew up in Amestris, a nation that is no stranger to bloodshed and hatred. The horrific Ishvalan civil war is just one example of this country's bloody history, and Edward is quite aware of the cycle of hatred that followed. Edward had to talk his good friend Winry Rockbell out of revenge. In fact, when she tried to shoot Scar. Edward has had his fair share of loss, and he knows that revenge, arrogant pride, and the lust for power will only make things worse, no matter how strong a person is. Edward would be deeply disturbed by Sasuke's quest for power and revenge, to say the least. 9. Shota Aizawa knows a bad student when he sees one My Hero Academia. Shota Aizawa, aka Eraserhead, has a loosely similar role in his own story as Kakashi Hitaki in the world of Naruto. He is a tough and demanding teacher who expects the best from his students, and he knows that it takes more than strong superpowers to make a proper hero or ninja. Aizawa would commend Sasuke's talent and abilities. Such as the Sharingan-ai, but he would also recognize Sasuke as a serious problem in the making, and scorn Sasuke's dead emphasis on friendship and cooperation. No true hero runs off on their own to seize easy power like that. 8. Urza Scarlet knows better than to use grief for villainous ends fairy tale. Urza Scarlet, a powerful S-rank wizard, also suffered great loss in her childhood. She was a child slave for years while working on that tower. And she lost many friends while trying to escape. Now, Urza is using her life constructively to make sure no one else suffers as she did. But this experience never made Urza bitter or self-absorbed. She understands that compassion, friendship, and trust will help heal her wounds and grant her strength, and Sasuke Uchiha went in the opposite direction with his own grief. Sasuke contradicts every value the fairy tale guild has. And this would make him Urza's enemy on many levels. 7. Avatar Aang explained that revenge is a double-edged sword avatar, the last airbender. Aang, the mighty avatar, suffered serious loss just the way Sasuke and Urza did, but he moved on. Aang has moved on to train as the avatar, and he channeled his grief into something positive, creating a peaceful world free of tyrants and war. More importantly, he never sought revenge against the Fire Nation. Aang is aware that revenge will harm both parties involved and is never worth it. He told this to his good friend Katara, who believed him after she couldn't bring herself to get bloody revenge on her mother's killer. Sasuke, meanwhile, is all about revenge and perpetuating the world's suffering. 6. Thorfinn Karlsefni earned that revenge schemes are pointless Vinland saga. At first, Thorfinn Karsefni would sympathize with Sasuke's position, since the death of his beloved father Thor's echoes Sasuke's family's demise. The cunning Askeladd is Thorfinn's own Itachi, and Thorfinn spent years preparing to get revenge on him. Except, he failed. Thorfinn was left with nothing when Prince Canute killed Askeladd instead. 
suffered nightmares about all the violence while working on Kettle's farm in Denmark, and then became a pacifist who would create the peaceful Vinland. Sasuke, meanwhile, is still stuck in revenge mode. And Thorfinn would pity him deeply but otherwise keep his distance. 5. Raftalia learned to move on from revenge the rising of the shield hero. Many anime characters have suffered serious losses and at least considered getting revenge on the offending party. But these heroes often learn that revenge will only bring more suffering. Raftalia is a demi-human who learned to not build her entire life around vengeance. She did get revenge on the foul nobleman who slaughtered and enslaved her people. But Raftalia quickly moved on and vowed to do good in the world to prevent more suffering. She'd be disgusted with Sasuke's dark fixation on revenge and the personal satisfaction he would find in it. 4. Tanjiro Kamadu lost his family but not his heart demon slayer. Tanjiro Kamadu is yet another anime hero who may have suffered serious loss but didn't lose his humanity in the process. Tanjiro joins Sasuke and the others in the I lost almost everyone I care about club, but he has a heart of gold, too. Tanjiro wants revenge on just one person, Muzan Kibutsuji, who is simply impossible to redeem. And Tanjiro isn't just doing this to avenge his own family he wants to make sure no one else loses their families either, proving that he is a compassionate and selfless person. Sasuke, by contrast, makes everything about himself. 3. Shinra Kyuzakabe moved on from grief aims to be a hero fire force. Shinra Kyuzakabe also knows what it's like to lose family members. His mother died when she became an infernal. And he thought that his younger brother Sho had been lost, too. But Sho is alive, as a member of the cult of the Ashen Flame, and Shinra has vowed to bring Sho back to the good guy's side. Regardless of his suffering, Shinra is doggedly determined to be a hero, almost cartoonishly so. As a true fire soldier, he aims only to rescue people and save the day, and he never gets self-absorbed about it. He's here to humbly serve and not satisfy his own thirst for vengeance. 2. Levi Ackerman would be critical of Sasuke's reckless, melodramatic ways attack on Titan. Levi Ackerman has a dark side too, and he wouldn't blame Sasuke for being self-absorbed in rage and grief. Still, Levi is an anti-hero, not a villain, and he would not appreciate Sasuke's erratic ways. Levi is by the book and deliberate about everything, and he does not appreciate surprises or the actions of reckless hotheads. Levi already has his hands full with the rowdy Aaron Yeager, and Levi would scorn Sasuke for his failure to serve as a loyal Kanoha ninja who knows his place. In Levi's eyes, a proper soldier doesn't just break ranks to chase after questionable power. They respect the chain of command. 1. Jonathan Joestar would be reminded of Dio Brando Jojo's bizarre adventure. If Jonathan Joestar laid eyes on Sasuke Uchiha, he would be distinctly reminded of someone else whom he knows Dio Brando. His foster brother. Dio was selfish and cunning, and he wanted everything. So, he donned the stone Aztec mask and became a powerful vampire. Villains often pursue quick, easy power to get what they want. And Sasuke echoed Dio's actions when he ran off to consort with the villainous Orochimaru. Jonathan would sympathize with Naruto and Sakura Haruno, and resolve to help them take down their own Dio, Brando. There is no forgiving what Sasuke has done. <laughs>